and each and every one of you. Online, you can visit us, rcwwrestling.com. Look out, roll up by Girl Candy, Christian Jacobs, two, and no. And Seth Knight, oh, fires right back up with a clothesline, almost took the man's head off. Give credit where credit is due. Dynamite Seth Knight has battled back, and now oh, he's even patting himself on the back. He's proud of himself. He's going to go for cover again, though. This time he should have hooked the leg. His girl Candy was able to use those massive, powerful legs to just kick right on out. And again, I think Seth is so focused on impressing everybody, he needs to just zone in on girl Candy, yet he still keeps talking to the fans, and it almost cost him, but he was able right there to slip away as girl Candy would face first in the turnbuckles. What's this going to be? He has something dangerous in mind. Just kind of snapped his head forward, and what's this? Side rushing leg sweep. Impressive. Cover again, one, two. And he is so upset with the referee's count, although I will give a lot of credit to our referees here in Ringside Championship Wrestling. We only hired the best, and Caleb Dimps is one of those, and he has done a fine job thus far, in my opinion. Girl Candy now trying to fire back, trying to come back here. Scoop it up, body slam. He does so. He's going to try to drop an elbow, and he missed it. Oh, man. That will cost you every time. All that momentum, you hit that canvas. And, ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. That is not a trampoline. That's a, a, a totally false rumor out there. That is a solid, solid mat. And when you hit it, it, it does punish the body. And especially with the force that he missed that elbow. And Dynamite repeatedly, he took advantage. Now he's going to choke the man. Come on. The one thing about Seth Knight, he does not need to do that. He is a he is just a, a well-trained athlete in great physical condition. He can go with the best of them. Does not need to resort to choking, eye-raking, any of those type of things. Forearm now by Dynamite Seth Knight. He has Girl Candy back to the corner. Elbow cut, catches a man on the side of the head. I tell you what, he has a game plan. He has a strategy. Irish whip coming up out of the far corner. Oh, man, did you just see that spear? Good grief. That spear just came out of nowhere. And I talked about finishing and, and top maneuvers. That's one of them for Girl Candy Christian Jacobs. Sometimes he's able to use that for victory right here, of course, due to the fact that Dynamite Sith Knight had worn him down so far he was not able to do so. It was a move that was able, though, to buy him a lot of time to catch his breath. And look at Dynamite. He's hurt. He may have a cracked rib or two. The punch is blocked. Girl Candy connects. Connects again. Off the ropes comes nine, and Girl Candy connects for a third one. Punch slash forearm combination right there. And a big-time clothesline. And look at this. Girl Candy is feeling it right now. He realizes that it is now or never if he wants to advance to the RCW Championship Tournament round two. Big bag body drop, and look at the way that bag just wrenched. I tell you what, he is going to be sore in the morning. Girl Candy, oh, smart move by Dynamite said Knight. I don't think it had the full force he wanted, but just enough to jack the jaw of Girl Candy. Look at this. Wait a second, he's cinching up. That's one of his moves called the Sour Face Silencer, but Girl Candy counters, very impressive counter. He's trying to hook in his move, the Sharpshooter. He's got it locked in. He's turning back. Oh, man, Seth Knight, is a, he's a little bit far from the ropes. He's going to have to reach up. He's going to have to grab one. He's trying to get closer. He's edging just a little. Oh, look at Girl Candy bring him back in the middle of the ring and sits down with it. He taps out. That's it. That's it. Girl Candy advances. An impressive victory by Girl Candy Christian Jacobs who will advance to round two of the RCW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Oh man, what a matchup that was. Right now, let's take a look at some of the highlights. Now let's take a look at the ringside replay again. Girl Candy early on in the match tried for the sharpshooter as Seth Knight just did everything in his power to fight it off. Here you see he's just he's just trying right there, starts throwing right hand punches to the top of the head. It took actually about three, and I think there we go, four, to stop Girl Candy, and then he kicks out. Side rush and leg sweep by Seth Knight was one point where it looked like he might be in control to count, and he was upset about the count. Then he had Girl Candy Christian Jacobs. Looked like he had him wrapped up in the corner, driving elbows in viciously. But here, in my opinion, wrestling fans, is the turning point in this match. Out of the corner, bam, right there. Girl Candy connects. He connected hard with that spear. And you see Seth Knight down, grimacing in pain. 
and a real turning point for him. And then moments later, a big back body drop. Man, Seth Knight was up in the lights. You see the arc of the back. He was in pain. Tried for the sour face silencer. Girl Candy was able to counter. And this time, there would be not enough fight left in Dynamite Seth Knight to fight it off. He tried valiantly. But after the big spear, after the big back body drop, Dynamite was in trouble. And you'll see here, taps out as Girl Candy, Christian Jacobs, wins the match. He advances to round two of the RCW title tournament. Wrestling fans, don't miss the action and excitement of Ringside Championship Wrestling on tour. Let's take a look at where you can see Ringside Championship Wrestling on Saturday, March the 27th. We make our debut in Augusta, Arkansas at the Augusta National Guard Armory TV taping 8 p.m. We're bringing the television cameras to Augusta. You're going to see the human highlight reel, Austin Lane, beautiful Bobby of Midnight Express fame and currently of Midnight Gold. The P.O.B. member Ron Rage will be in the house, plus John Michael Worthington, Golden Boy Greg Anthony, the tag team partner of Beautiful Bobby Eaton in that new tag team, Midnight Gold. Charles Casino Kid Mosier in the house. Of course, he's our ringside championship wrestling executive director, but you never know when that man is going to lace up the boots and get in the ring. Also, Dynamite Seth Knight and many more on the card Saturday night, March 27th in Augusta at the National Guard Armory. Tickets are available at the door for this event. They're going to be $12 for front row ringside. That's right. Lock in your front row seat. Don't worry about anybody slipping in there and stealing your seat because you will have a front row seat to all the action in Augusta for that front row ringside seat purchase. Also, adult general mission tickets will be available for $10 and student general mission tickets available for $8. It's ringside championship wrestling on tour in Augusta. Wrestling fans, you don't want to miss the action summit of Ringside Championship Wrestling at the Truman Rec Complex in Truman, Arkansas on Friday, April 2nd. We'll be back. We're bringing the TV cameras back once again, 8 p.m. bell time right there in Truman. A lot of fun we had last time. You're watching it now on RCW Late Night Wrestling, and you can be on TV again in Truman. Looking forward to seeing each and every one of you there. Let's talk about some of the names you're going to see on the card. Human Highlight Real Austin Lane, beautiful Bobby Eaton, the Midnight Express fame, of course, and again, you know what happened last time at Midnight Gold, Savage Attack on Ray Ray. We're going to see what happens when we come back to Truman on Friday night, April 2nd. Big P.O.B. member Ron Rage in the house. Girl Candy Christian Jacobs, who, as we saw earlier, did not advance in the Ringside Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Go to boy Greg Anthony, of course, with beautiful Bobby Eaton as the Midnight Gold. Charles Casino Kid Mosier, he's in the house too. You never know. He might get involved this time. He tried. He had to break some things up last time as the fans and attendance saw. We'll be showing you highlights of that in the coming weeks on RCW TV. Plus, Derek King and many more. It's Friday night, April 2nd. Television cameras are coming to Truman again. We're going to be at Augusta on the 27th. Truman on the 2nd. It's Ringside Championship Wrestling on tour. It's Ringside Championship Wrestling. Get a ringside seat. Why? Because professional wrestling is back. Okay, baby, I got to go. I'll call you back. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Hey, everybody. This is Matt Riviera, one of the premier millionaires on TV today. Everybody's been wanting to know, am I really worth 5.5? Well, today, I'm going to give you a little bit of taste of what I'm all about. Come on in to Russellville, Arkansas, the 479. Let's go. And here we have my lovely kitchen. This is where I come to prepare a special dish for some special people. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot in my fridge right now, being on the road as much as I have been. And of course, we've got all the great American staples, large brown eggs, a little bit of water, little Merrick Whip, a little bit of this and that. Again, no time to cook. No time right now being on the road as much as I am. And if you would join me for a little bit of dinner here in Riviera's kitchen. As you can see, I can accommodate as many people as I want to. And after a five course meal of all of my southern favorites, ribs, fried chicken, cabbage, mashed potatoes and gravy, cranberry sauce, stuffing, I BAM! Hit the fireplace, move the pillars out of the way, kick back in my Stacey Adams, relax, and unwind.